at the Kidopolis um, at LCC with Miss Jessie. I'm Miss Jessie. Um, we are doing a month talking about how your creator, my creator, our creator has no limits. How that is indescribable. All of the things that your creator has created and really there's no limits. Think of all the amazing things in this world that he has created. You, panda bears, snow, what else do we got? Um, space shuttles or that's a satellite I guess. He created the people who created those. Trash pandas. He created pandas and trash pandas which is pretty cool if you ask me. They're both adorable. He created trees that stay green all year and he created trees that lose their leaves in the fall. Uh, so cool. So neat. Okay. So creativity for us is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. So like I said, all of those things that God made, the pandas and the trash pandas and the people who made the rocket ships and the satellites and the hot air balloons. He made all of those things, and because we're made in his image, we are capable of making so many things, like rocket ships and satellites, and who knows? Who knows what else? Maybe you'll, maybe you'll be the person who makes a flying car. Maybe you'll be the person who turns us into the Jetsons. Um, and maybe that was God's purpose for you, because God created you for a purpose. Who knows what your purpose is? You might already know it. I know people who know their purpose very young in life. Some people find it like their big life purpose, maybe a little later. And your purpose in life could change day to day, minute to minute, but um, God created you for that. Okay, so you might be wondering why I'm in a robe. And it's not because my house is cold, although um, Mr. Jacob and I do kind of argue about what the acceptable temperature is. I personally think if it's like 80 or under, we're fine. And Jacob freaks out if it's like above 70, so it's fine. That's not why I'm wearing the robe. I'm wearing the robe because the person in our story today wears a robe. She's actually a queen. Can you guess who it is? Her name is... It's in the Old Testament. Does that help? She has a cousin named Mordecai. Does that help? Still no? Um, what about if she marries somebody named Xerxes? What if she has a lot of gold and a crown? <laughs> is this like a good crown? Do I look good with my robe and my crown? Do you know who it is? We're gonna be talking today about Queen Esther. Um, so you guys are gonna watch the So and So show. I'm gonna go over the story, of course. They always do an amazing job, right? Usually pretty funny. Um, but there is a Bible verse that's not our memory verse that I want you to think about um, as you're watching it. I'm pretty sure that they say it, this verse in particular, but this is what I want you to think about. And when we come back here, um, still be in my robe, I'll still have my crown. I probably won't be wearing it, I'll just put it on my crown holder. It's my crown holder. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about this question. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen what's it say <laughs> for just such a time as this who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this and that's actually a verse um, from the book of Esther um, chapter 4 verse 14 it's like the second half not the whole verse but this is the question I want you to think about um, we're gonna watch so and so show we're gonna come back here see you in a few minutes okay Hey, John, have you seen my DigiPet? John? Dear Brandon, please read the poem on the desk directly into the camera. All right, easy enough. <clears throat> where to look, where to look. I know not where to look. Sorry, start from the beginning. <clears throat> where to look, where to look. I know not, 
Weird. Sorry. All right. One more time. Where to look? Where to look? I know not where to, where should I look? Uh, where to looky look? You know what? Okay, I got this. I got this. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> where to look? Where should I look? Where should I look? Looky looky look. Looky 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 look look. Looky looky look 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 look. Where should I look? Where should I look? Where should I look? Look 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 look. Ah! I love poetry. <laughs> <laughs>take the microphone away from your face, turn it off or something. Why? Just please do it. Fine. What's the problem? The pro You're making a bunch of mouth noises into a microphone. Well, yes, Brandon. I am. It's called ASMR, which stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It's all the rage on the World Wide Web's mouth noises. Yeah. You got a problem with mouth noises? Everyone has a problem with mouth noises. They're gross. You're really not going to like the game I had planned. Why? It's called What's John Eating? No! The game is simple. You'll wear these headphones so you can listen to me eat food over the microphone. Then you'll use the food cards in front of you to guess what I'm chewing. Mm. You can play at home, too, because you'll be able to hear exactly what Brandon hears. You ready, buddy? Yes. Can you hear me, Brandon? Yes. Then let's begin. Food item number one. I don't know, a hard-boiled egg? You are incorrect. It's chocolate pudding. <laughs> Food item number two. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It, it's a carrot. Oh, so close. It was celery. I thought you'd get that one. I'm sorry, it was stringy. All right, go. Okay, okay. Food item number three. I don't know. Chocolate pudding. Wrong again. It's cereal. Mm. 
It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, hey Kellen. Brandon doesn't like my relaxing ASMR mouth noises and I thought it was my purpose. Okay. Kellen, please, please just move on with your story. Sure thing, ma'am. Well, today I want to talk about an incredibly brave and creative woman. In fact, there's a whole book of the Bible devoted to her story, and her name was Esther. And today we're going to tell it in another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. <laughs> Esther's people, the Jews, were living in the country of Persia because the Jewish nation had been conquered in battle. The king of Persia was a guy named... I can say my own name, thank you. Sorry, my bad. Yes, you're bad. I am Exerzexes, king of Persia. You may continue. Thanks. King Xerxes was looking for a wife. And after searching for the most beautiful woman in the kingdom, he chose, you guessed it, Esther. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Esther! Hello! I am Esther, the new queen. <laughs> A so-and-so show player. Aw, oh, man. Don't be rude. Okay. You may continue. Now, King Xerxes had an official who he placed in a very important position. That man was Haman. Did you hear that, world? I'm Haman, and I'm important. <laughs> but Haman was not a nice guy. <laughs> the king commanded that people bow down to Haman when he walked by. And everyone did. Well... Almost everybody. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. Hey, you! Who, me? Yes! What's your name? Why are you not bowing? Oh, oh, my name is Mordecai, and I'm not bowing because I don't want to. Ooh, that makes my mustache curl! <laughs> Haman was so angry. He made a plan to get back not just at Mordecai, but all his people, the Jews. Haman convinced the king that the Jews were evil, and the king issued an order to have the entire nation wiped out. But what Haman didn't know was that Mordecai had a very famous relative. Dear Queen Esther, it's me, your cousin, the guy who practically adopted you, remember? I don't know if you know this, but the king issued a decree that all of our people should be wiped out on the 13th day of the 12th month. It's because of this villain, Haman. Is there anything that you can do, Mordecai? Oh. <sighs> Dear Mordecai, this is horrible, but what can I do? You know there's a law that says no one can approach the king without being sent for. If I do, I could die. Although, there is a chance the king could hold out his gold scepter if I approach. If he did that, my life would be spared. But I'm not sure what to do. <sighs> Esther. I know you're frightened. We all are. But you may be our only hope. This could be your purpose. Who knows? It's possible that you became queen for a time just like this. <sighs> Gather all the Jews together. Go three days without food or drink. Then I will go to the king, and if I have to die, I'll die. Mordecai did as Esther suggested. He gathered the Jews together, and they didn't eat or drink for three days. All they could do was wait and hope. On the third day, Esther went to see the king. <clears throat> king Xerxes? What? What? Esther?
What is it, Queen Esther? Do you have a request? Anything you want, I'll give it to you. Um, I've prepared a feast, and I would like for you to come. Oh, and invite Haman. Food, I like food, yes, it's a date. Oh. Haman! Yes, your majesty? Queen Esther has prepared a feast. Would you like yes. to- Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm going to eat with the king! Because I'm special. <laughs> the feast happened just as Esther had planned. It went so well that Esther asked the king and Haman back the next day for a second feast. That's when she made her move. Hmm, what a delicious feast, my queen. Now tell me, what can I give you? Anything you want, up to half my kingdom. Your majesty, mm -hmm. I hope you will be pleased to let me live. Please spare my people. It has been ordered that we be wiped out! What? Oh, the candles! Who dares do such a thing? It was him, Haman! What? I, 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 I would never! You're, 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 you're Jewish! I, 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 I didn't, I, how could I know? I, this, this is just a misunderstanding. Why are you little? Oh, no, 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 no. Gods, seize this no, man! No, 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 oh, drat. I decree that all your people be spared. Oh, hooray! Thank you, God. Hmm. Esther had a purpose, and because of her bravery, she was able to fulfill that purpose and save her people from the wicked Haman. The end. That is an epic story, Kellen. Isn't it? Yeah, God used her to save a whole nation. Now that's what I call purpose. <laughs> yeah, and we all have that same opportunity. To save an entire nation? No! Well, I don't know, maybe. That's what's so exciting. God put us all exactly where we are and made us all so unique. Who knows how you may impact the world? Man, that is inspiring. Very cool, Kellen, thank you. You got it. See you guys. Well, now I've just got to figure out what my purpose is because it's apparently not mouth noises. Maybe not, but I mean, come on, I know some of your purposes. Really? Yeah, I mean, you're funny. You're a good friend, and, and you help share the mysteries of God with, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people every week. Millions? Sure, why not? And you've got one other purpose that I can think of. What's that? It's to reveal the question. Oh, oh yeah. What do you think your purpose could be? Mm. That's a cool question, because you all have one. Yeah, and the sky's the limit. It could be anything. Just... Think about how God has wired you and, and see what you come up with. Or ask someone else who knows you really well. Hey, ask God too. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, but whatever you think it is, we hope you have fun talking about it. Yeah, until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this was The, the So and So Show. Okay, so you're gonna have to tell me whose crown is better and whose rope is better. Because I don't know if you know this about me, but I make things a competition. I think I win. Although, maybe her crown stayed on her head better. Um, Alright, so Queen Esther. I am obviously not Queen Esther, but I thought it would be fun. Maybe you guys will remember Queen Esther and the question, right? The question that we had. Who knows if perhaps... You were made queen for just such a time as this. And despite my robe and despite my crown, I am not a queen. I mean, other than in my house, but there's like no official ruling on that. And I don't think anybody has actually ever called me queen. Strangely enough, we have a, quat, a, quat, a cat named Queenie. So if anything, she's probably the queen in the house. Um, but I didn't want you to think about if you were a queen. I want to look at some of the words. I've highlighted them, kind of. So... Who knows 
if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. So I want you to think about the times that you're in. And like I said, you're probably not going to be in a situation where you're a queen and like the life of an entire population of people depends on you. Maybe, who knows? But think about situations that you were put in when you were like a hypothetical queen. And by that, I mean, um, you have a role that only you can do that is specific for you at that time. So like, let's say you, oh, I've seen this before. Let's say you're at a store and you see the person behind the counter not being treated very kindly, okay? Where are you? What time is that? That's a very unique time that's gonna pass soon. But your role as queen in that situation is maybe to say something. Maybe say like, hey, let's be kind. Or maybe it's to cheer that person up who isn't being very kind after the other person leaves. Think about what your role is and all the different things that you can do. Maybe your queen moment is when you're talking to a friend who says, I don't really know a lot about God or Jesus or the Bible, and I don't think I want to. Maybe your queen time is to tell them about all the amazing things that God has done and created in this world and the sacrifices that Jesus made for you so you can live um, a happy eternal life. Maybe that's your queen time. So I just want you to think about those words. You, queen, and time. When is your queen time? Stop and think about that, okay? Um, it can be any time. You might have multiple queen times a day. Who knows? So, let me know. I'll be excited to hear about your queen times. We are going to do memory verse in one minute. I went ahead and <laughs> brought the real queen of the house here. Hi. <laughs> to help us with our memory verse today. Um, I think cats are a really great way to show God's creativity <laughs> and just, I don't know how indescribable these cats are and because they're so cute and cuddly, but also sometimes they're kind of evil. Are you sometimes kind of evil? She doesn't want to say it, but she is. So this is Queenie. She's going to help us. Are you going to help us with memory verse? It's right here. Okay. It says, <laughs> okay, you lay there. This is our memory verse. This is for our older kids, the, the versities. If you are like first grade and up, this is a longer version of the memory verse. JV, junior versities, if after I read this, you're like, I think I need a shorter version, don't worry, I'm gonna give it to you. <clears throat> Here we go. Talked about how it was in the book of Psalms. And we are Psalm 145, verse three. Lord, you are great. <laughs> You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. And that's Psalm 145, verse 3. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. So I bet you guys can guess because you're pretty smart. But if we were to shorten this verse for the younger kiddos or anybody who just wants a shorter verse, like Queenie, I bet you she needs a shorter verse. Do you need a shorter verse? What do you think? Is that is that too long? Okay. You're like Queenie. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. Just two sentences. You can do that, right? Can you memorize that? Lord, you are great. Oh, see what I mean? How they're so cute and cuddly one minute and the next. Huh. Oh. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. Psalm 145, verse 3. Um, that is our memory verse for like maybe kindergarten and younger, or like I said, anybody who thinks that three sentences is just one too many. So memorize your memory verse. Send me a video in any way that you can think of. Give me a call on the phone if you want, and I will bring a treat to your house for you. We are still doing memory verse treats, even though we're not seeing each other in person. Okay. Next, it is prayer time. I was going to have Queenie here for that, but I think Queenie might be a little bit done. Um, so let's do our prayer time. And I want to think about this word, indescribable. 
as we are praying, okay? <clears throat> I'm just gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, I'm gonna give us a couple seconds um, to think about all the ways that God is indescribable, all the indescribable things that we have in our life. We look around and we see that just shows how amazing he is, how worthy he is of our praise, that he has no limits, and just how creative he is, okay? And also, I want you to think about your queen moment. When do you have time to be a queen? And when do you have time to be a queen for God? Think about that. Oh, also I forgot to say, if you're a boy, you can you can be, uh, it can be your king moment, okay? So don't think just because it said queen, it's not for you today. It's for everybody. Got it? Sorry, I just, I felt the need to add that in there. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Dear Lord, you are indescribable. There are so many things in this world that you've created that I just, I can't imagine how you, how you thought of that. I can't even believe that you find me worthy to live in this world that you created. But Lord, I am so grateful for it. I am so thankful. And Lord, I just ask that you open my eyes when it's time for my queen moment, when my time comes, that my eyes are open and I am ready to serve you and your people. Um, I hope you open my eyes to the things that you created me for and that you give me the strength that I need to do those things. And I pray the same thing for all of my friends watching. Um, I thank you so much, Lord, for everything you've done in my life. Thank you for my fuzzy robe and my cat, Queenie, and my friends, my church. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We love you. We pray this all in your son's name. Amen. Okay, guys, that's all I have for this week. We will see you next week again, talking about indescribable again, because it's still August. I hope you have a great week. If you're going back to school, I hope you have a great week at school. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Honey, I really don't think that's going to work as a crown. I just, if I try a little... It, it just doesn't fit. Okay, wait. What about, what if I, like this, I could like maybe like do a ponytail and like, because there's a hole and like that, do you think that'll... I mean, just proportionally, it doesn't look right. This, this one, this one doesn't, I mean, oh, it kind Does of, it fit over your head? It does look pretty cool with that the the spines poking out at the top there. The kind of. Okay. I know which one though. I think I got it. Ugh. Huh? 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 Perfect. <laughs>